Hi, my name is Michelle Hans. I'm a construction engineer, which can also be known as a site engineer. Um, I'm in charge of reading the construction drawings and then going out and showing the guys or women exactly where things need to be built. As well as setting out a job, the site engineer will also be involved in quality management, looking after subcontractors, uh, ordering materials and ensuring that the site is working efficiently. Did I know about this job when I was a child? No, I didn't. I had absolutely no idea um, that A, women could be engineers, um, and B, I, I really didn't know that the job existed. I didn't really have a set path into engineering, i.e. I didn't always know that I wanted to be an engineer. Uh, and it was just so happened that an opportunity came for me to get into the construction industry by doing materials and soil testing, uh, which was using my geography degree. And after I'd done that job for about four or five years, it was then I w worked alongside an engineer. And that's when I decided I really wanted to do um, that person's job. In terms of getting a job, when I first started, yes, it was very hard, uh, but I think that's hard for both men and women. Uh, I didn't have any experience specifically on the kit that I was supposed to be using. Um, so what I did is I went and did some work experience for free, and that really helped me, um, you know, put that down on my CV and got me my first job. Since then, I think because the UK industry is so busy, I've never really had a problem getting a job. Um, I've moved from contract to contract. Uh, and there's there's never really been any issues. The only other true barriers that I've had um, have perhaps been when I've actually been on site. Only on a very few occasions have I had issues, but um, there have been a few where a certain person perhaps is not used to a woman being on a construction site and has felt that they didn't feel right in communicating with me. Um, which was really hard, but to be honest with you, um, once I made the effort to um, talk to that person, those barriers were then removed and we could all get on with our jobs. Um, I think it means a lot, I think, over the last couple of years since I've been putting a lot out on social media and doing uh, the YouTube videos and having a lot of feedback from other women in industries where it is mainly male dominated. I think it's really important that we can shed light on our jobs and what we do and hopefully help inspire those to come through and join us. The thing for me is that the number of women in STEM is crazy low and yet when I chat to girls and even women that are in jobs at the moment they say you know I've, I've always loved science and I've always loved maths and you know engineering would have been perfect but I just never pursued that because I just didn't think it was a job for women and I think the media is partly to blame for that uh, but you know through social media you can go online now and find um, women in engineering you know women developing apps uh, in science jobs and it's, it's just a fantastic time to be um, changing things and making sure that girls who are coming up through um, school and college can know okay yeah that is definitely a career that you can pursue and you should pursue. What message would I give um, I'd just say yes, just go for it. You can um, pursue a career in engineering and you will really love the job. I say the biggest challenge that I face um, as a woman in STEM is changing perceptions. So when I arrive on a contract and it's guys that I've never worked with before, uh, you know, there are comments made and uh, they're always watching out just to see, you know, how good an engineer that I, I am. Um, and after about two or three days, once I've won those guys over and they have seen that I can do the job and I can do it well, then those barriers are really broken down. Uh, for me personally, the reason why I've gone and promoted my work on social media is I want to be breaking down the perception that there aren't women on a construction site and that uh, they don't belong there because in fact they do and I feel that if we have more women in the industry 
then the balance on site would be great and actually there are some things that women are slightly better than men and some things men are slightly better than women and if you merge those two together there's just it seems to me that there'd be this perfect balance and jobs would perhaps go a lot smoother um, that's just my opinion anyway Why should women be in STEM? I think the question we should be asking is why shouldn't women be in STEM? And uh, there is no reason. If you love science and maths, then there's so many careers out there that are suitable to use your skills. And it's exciting um, for construction specifically. I love the fact that I can walk away from a project and think, you know, I was part of a team that helped build that and that structure's gonna stand there for hopefully, you know, 50 to 100 years and you can see exactly what it is that you've um, been part of and helped build. And that, that's pretty amazing. And like I said before, we need women in STEM because we're underrepresented. Uh, it needs to be equal, it needs to be, you know, 50-50 men and women. And I really feel like every industry would massively benefit from this. <laughs>